Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, reached the forest last night, um, around 11.30ish. Thought we would get a good night's sleep, but the bloody brumbies, they were just uh, walking around us the whole night. And we did not get even a single minute of sleep. No sleep, new forest, new block, target Samba. So fellow cast. That's a souvenir, bro. Well, now we need to find another one so we can go. <laughs> Finders keepers, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> So we have had very, very hard day today, and uh, the wind has been just playing with us. Wherever we go, it just seems like the wind is just following us. Um, this morning was just a, more of a hike than a hunt. We got into got down into a creek system and uh, yeah it's just the wind just kept twirling around and uh, um, wasn't in our favor at all we walked for about at least three three and a half four hours maybe nothing no sign the whole time and no sign of animal no sign of deer, nothing. It's a bit disappointing, no doubt about it, really. I had high hopes with this area, but uh, maybe with a reality check for me. He's at it, he's not giving up. I'm not giving up. We keep looking, we keep searching. You know, sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. That's hunting. Uh. All right, enough of the negativity and time for some optimism. Inshallah. May Allah help us. Inshallah. All right. See you guys later. So for the afternoon session, we decided to class this big open country, which was adjacent to a, a very long tree line, um, where there was a creek flowing. And uh, the weather just decided to go against us again and uh, started belting down with heavy rain. really tired uh, it's 
scouting a new forest takes a lot of lot out of you so we don't plan to go back to the camp we've got enough food water supplies everything to spend the day in the forest to cover as much ground because I'm not here for many days I'm only here for a couple of days so we are not gonna go back to the camp and at this point I just want to stress the importance of scouting your area where you plan to hunt the biggest uh, mistake I would say uh, that a lot of hunters unintentionally probably make is they only focus on that first uh, first light and last light no doubt about it that's the that's the prime time that's when the deer are most active but you gotta t make most of the whole day there's no point just sitting at the camp once you know all the spots once you know where the deer are coming from where they're living and everything yeah you can maybe target those two sessions but uh, when you're scouting a new forest like i'm doing right now it's very very important to utilize as much time as you can and cover as much ground as you can and try to understand try to join the dots with deer, deer movement and uh, though so the plan for us is exactly that we're gonna spend the whole day in the forest and then when it's prime time we're gonna well, once we find the sign and we have we have a basic idea of the deer movement then we then I should then I would completely focus on that evening session and see if if all the scouting that we did throughout the day you know comes together anyways uh, just wanted to you know um, give a, a little tip that way you know while we're just walking and going to another block so that's the idea guys wish us luck let's see what happens in this afternoon as soon as we headed into the new block, sign just started to show up. We find fresh samba, fresh samba sign. And that is as fresh as it can be. Bro, get your 45 sani ready. It's game on. As we followed that fresh sign, we bumped into a sam behind, but we were too late because uh, she had spotted us before we could spot her. So I tried using the collar, but didn't really work out.
Look with what we stumbled upon. The mother load of all the sign. Everywhere. Sign, sign, sign. about an hour to get to the spot it's a hidden open spot country well not exactly open but less dense you can say in the middle of some really thick stuff down there down that gully and there is sign everywhere over here So after scouting this area where we spotted the sand behind, um, we felt uh, the approach to this patch of land wasn't great. So we thought of heading back to the truck and going around and uh, having a look if there's a better approach from the other end. There's going to try and repair the tire. Get on with it. We still have time. We have about half an hour with us before we can actually start proper stalking. So hopefully that should be enough time for him to fix his fix the tire. Anyways, uh, all right, guys. I'll see you there. All done. Took us exactly about 20 minutes to do this. It was pretty nice, pretty neat. And now we're gonna be back on the track. Go back, go back a little. Same angle, same angle. Go back a little. That's it. Straight. Come, come. 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 Left. Come. Right. Straight. Straight. Come. Come. So while scouting, we have come across this very thin creek that runs all the way there and crosses the road on the other side. So now we've seen some sign and now we're trying to make some patterns here. So that's the forest, that's the native bush. That's the open plantation. That's the creek that is running through. So if I were a deer, I would, and I'm, the only thing that I'm thinking of when I'm going back home is my safety. And that would mean that I wouldn't be just walking along the, along the spur there in the open. I would rather be walking through the creek where I'll be getting some feed and protection. So, so that's how I'm trying to make a pattern here. So they might, if they're feeding in the night in that, 
in that direction there. So when they want to go back to the their home, this would be an ideal transition for them. And you know, while they're going, they're grazing. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go head down into that creek or dry creek. I don't think so there's water running there, but anyways, it still will hold good feed. So we'll go there, have a look, see if we find more sign, see if the if this makes se any sense, and then work our way backwards. All right, inshallah, let's go. All right, moment of truth. Did all the hard work in the last two days. Now it all comes down to this. Now we are gonna go, we have found a very good, very, very, very good spot where we can, where we, we think the deer might come from. And the plan is to walk in glass the track for the first 10 minutes and get into the bush and follow a game trail that we found um, this afternoon and then follow that bush up until the last, when it's last 45 minutes, then we're gonna come out in the open and wait for them. So if we bump into something before, well and good. If not, then we have the last 45 minutes to um, sit and wait for them. So let's see how this all comes together and uh, hopefully we get a sample. All right then, wish us luck. Found this blood over here. There's blood on this. There's blood on this. And it's going. There's some more blood here. And some more blood here. And it's going in there. Ah, oh, it's getting very, very dark. see the camera but it is getting dark. Uzair has already got his torch out. Oh, it's gonna be a hard one. But 
going to leave it here. Come back tomorrow morning. Move on. Tough call. Look as much as we can see. And then take a call in about when it gets dark. More blood. More blood over here. As it got dark, we went back to our truck and dropped our rifles. And while we were coming back to the spot where I shot, we had a surprise visitor on the way. It was dark already so we went back to the truck and dropped our rifles and we have come back to search for it. Oh, it's, uh, there's on the other side of the pine and I am looking on this side. No more trail of blood. The only trail that we found was that two drops of blood and it's getting a bit sketchy now Anyways, uh, we decided we'll look for another half an hour and then probably just call it off if we don't find it Anyways, I'll get back to it Oh, took us about uh, one, one and a half hour. Yeah, about that much, yeah. Yeah, probably much more, probably more than that. I spotted this, uh, there are two hinds uh, just feeding uh, next to a tree line and uh, took a shot. It was about, it was quite a long shot. Uh, it was about 300, we checked the range, checked it from the, the range finder, 300 meters, I guess. Yeah. It was about 300 meters and uh, I usually don't take the long shots but it was a complete open country and we had no cover at all so we had to take a shot and uh, I felt it was a good shot and uh, we, we were spotting it. It wasn't running at full speed so we thought okay. So we watched it, watched it, watched it go and disappear into a tree line and then uh, oh my god so it, it took us a long time to find the first uh, trace of blood and then she started following it and it was dark we were almost about to give up and we just thought it's a tree behind me uh, that I'm sitting next to it was just it fell down right next to the tree in a thick bush and uh, we, were, we crossed it probably two or three times uh, but you know didn't see it uh, but we were coming back we gave up and we were coming back um, and then we found her on the way but anyways alhamdulillah uh, job done um, samba down and now uh, we're gonna take it back to the camp and uh, dress it
Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this hunt, you can check out more videos on my channel Khan Adventures. Please make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe and keep up to date on all my hunting adventures.